Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to some FTP Infinity Evolved Skyblock Expert Mode. Wow. It's a bit of a mouthful when you say it all out like that. But, yeah, Expert Mode has been throwing me for a loop, so I've got to you know, really take pay more attention to what the hell it is that I'm doing all the time. And I've died a ton. Here we go. Here we go. Five times. I'm number one. Oh. Of one. Anyway, I know also last video that I said something stupid and I should have known better. I really should have, but I didn't because I'm stupid. So we're going to go and I'm going to handle a couple of things today. So I've been doing all the ores and stuff. I've got a bunch of dust and I've got a bunch of seared brick, which took me a minor lifetime to do. And I didn't notice this last time either. But when you when I got that weird bucket achievement thingy, it actually gave me this item, the bucket trophy, and I'm not sure if I can put it down in the world or not. And I'm I'm a bit scared to try because if I put it somewhere I don't like, if I break it, do I lose it? Do I get it back? I'm sure I should get it back, but I don't want to try just in case. Uh, but firstly, we're going to be taking care of uh, the, the stupidity. Let's grab some dirt and uh, grab oh, I got some dirt on us already. Grab some cobble and we're going to need some wood. As you can tell, I've got quite a lot of that floating about. Right, and then what we want to do is pop these tables down. Right. God, the dog's going off now as well. She's had an operation. Well, she had an operation a couple of weeks ago, and now she, and she's still whining about it. Hey, stencil worker. Uh, what? Where? Would it be sign? Or shovel head? Yeah, that's the excavator, but I can't build that yet. I can't, I can't build them. How would I build a matter? I don't even know how to do that. All right. Well, what we'll do is we'll build the shovel head, and we'll build the oh, scythe head. Oh, geez, I probably can't even make that. Uh, I think actually that's all we're going to worry about for those. So let's pop that in there and then we need. No, we don't. Okay. So we can grab the tool rod. There we go. Tool rod and get a cobble one. And here, plop, plop. Alright. Tinkerer as well. Alright, so I can't till with that. How do I till then? Right, don't tell me that I can't really get a hoe until I get something like nether quartz or or something. Diamond hoe, that's oh, for goodness sake. Now, I, now I'm not actually even all that sure at all. Small power. Oh, for goodness sake! What the hell? So don't tell me that we can't farm yet, because I, I must be missing something. Because farming is absolutely essential to to getting ahead in this. I'm gonna check these down. I can't do this. I have no idea how to build a metal. <clears throat> I don't think I've ever done one. Is it in the tool station? Let's have a quick look. Because I know the matter can. Aha! Yes! Alright! 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 
So, what we can do is that instead. Just double check here, it's just... No. Yep, alright. Uh, we don't need that. Well, we will need that, but we can take that out for now. Okay, sometimes I can Minecraft. Well, hey! Alright, that's, that's a lot better. So I'm just going to pop all these down. And uh, we won't worry about crossbreeding just yet. We'll do that in another, uh, another episode. But we might as well just start, start things going. similar to how that thing is over there. I'm going to jump one day and I'm not going to make it and I'm going to be very upset. So this will do for now. See, things are already growing. Fantastic. Move on to the next bit. So ore and metals and stuff like that are, are a real problem and I'm really, 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 really tired of hammering things. So <laughs> we need to move on. First thing I'm gonna need is a controller and a drain. And we're gonna need a tank as well. Glass in here. And we're just going to go with a, a really, really basic smelter for now. Right, and then on top of this, we also need to be able to produce lava. So that's that's something that we're going to get to shortly. So if I make this. We have some wood. And it doesn't need to be like a super amazing smelt to begin with, it just needs to do the job. That's step one, done. And we'll get a, uh, a faucet here as well. And stick that on the drain. Then what we need to do is we need to sort out lava production. So that we're going to need uh, crucibles. And what we can do is we can repurpose our um, our cobble gen over there. So I know I've got some. Ah, uh, there it is. Pour some clay. The first thing you need is these unfired crucibles and the porcelain clay is bone meal and clay. It's a pretty simple recipe. Drop in some charcoal and fire these up. Did we get another book from making the smelter controller? No, we did not. Oh, yes, we did. There we go. Hey, casting. That reminds me. We need a casting bench. Uh, and whilst we're at it, we might as well make a casting basin as well. Stick the bench down there to begin with. And 
then we need to make uh, we need to make molds and all those other things. So that's you can either use gold or aluminium brass. So if we use aluminium brass, which is three three aluminium to one copper. Okay. So we'll keep that in mind for once we once we start to get some some lava. Stick one over this lava because lava does it much faster. I'm just going to fill that up. Let's see, so melting speed two times. And then we'll just stick the other. And there we go. So we'll just stick it over the top of this torch, and you can see they're melting speed one time. So this is going to go twice as slow as that one, or the other one's going to go twice as fast. We totally didn't lose one of. Alright, that's going to take a little while, so I'll, I'll let all this cook down and I might just try and fill up the, bucket, the uh, crucible as much as possible. And then I'll bring you back in. Okay, welcome back. Right, so we have lava. We've got a decent amount of lava. And I've got some aluminium and copper in there. What we should be able to do is provide ourselves. So the most important one I want to get is the ingot, but okay. so I hope we get gears. So I was looking at gears, and most of them need the metal press or the gear cast. Like you see, you need metal gears to get most of these, except for. Where are you? But you're much earlier than this. There you go. Stone gear. Stone gear is coming. Supposedly. I bet the can't the whole thing is locked out. Hey! Yes. Okay. So this should, this should all be cooked up now. Yeah. I think it's worth. Alright. Chuck that in there. Alright, I used up a single ingot. Oh, I actually used up the ingot as well. Alright. Alright, perfect. So we've got six of those left, and we've got all of them. Ingot cast, and we've got our gear cast. Okay. Whilst that is actually cooking away, what we should do is throw in a bunch of that. So that was 18, okay. That's pretty good because. Don't have to worry about this or that. We can then use that. And we might as well get a chest down here. All right, making progress. We're gonna get somewhere. We're gonna do it. Just, uh, just, 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 just. All right. So now the limiting factor becomes. Uh, redstone, which is going to be a bit of a bugger. I'm going to have to be punching freaking dust for ages, because I've got 8 redstone. That is no good. No good at all. Hmm. 
All right, whilst that is all cooking up, and I'm, I'm going to smelt away most of the other materials, we'll, uh, we'll get on with something else. And we're going to have to set up a place for uh, lava generation. So I'm going to do that over there. We can use that for power at some point. And then we're going to have to think about how we're going to do uh, the rest of the power. I'm thinking that we can do water wheels, except we need this metal former from IC2, oh my goodness me. Oh, okay. Requires, oh, oh my god. A bunch of iron plate, and, oh, and an iron chipset. Oh, oh okay. All right. Um, can we do but the survivalist is the one that we can do. Okay. Oh man. Wow. Dear God. <laughs> Our options are hella limited. Wow. All right. I'm going to figure out something and uh, I'll get back to you. Okay, guys. Some, so some time has passed and things have been cleared up and whatnot. So I've moved all our love production over to here. And a uh, cobblestone generator as well. Clean that up over there. And yeah, so we've got five five crucibles going away now. And uh, this isn't automated or anything. I'm, I have to admit, we are quite a way away from doing any actual real automation. It's so expensive. So I did spend uh, some time sorting out some rudimentary farms over here. So cactus, sugarcane. Uh, wheat, grab that. And then over here we've got ourselves some carrot and potato and melon and pumpkin. So we should be good on we should be good on food for a little while. I'm I'm a little bit less worried about running out of apples, which we which should start to happen. But we need to get some power going, and it's our options are limited all right so I, I looked through the guide thingy here there's this power options thing that talks about the survivalist and talks about the hobbyists and it also talks about the peat bog engine which is just not going to happen that's such a waste of time um but it says here at the bottom all lava power generation has been disabled in infinity skyblock which means no magmatic engines so we're not going to have as much use for lava as as we've previously had so we gotta we gotta work something out there uh, but in the meantime we can just get out this invar we're gonna need I'm gonna go with the oh, the survivalist to begin with because it's it's the easiest one to just put on and leave running and for that we're gonna uh, we're gonna need some bits of iron floating about so I'm gonna grab this and get that all out there and we need, we need four in here to get a gear what else do we need again all right we need to make furnaces coal blocks and we can get some redstone okay so if we come over here grab some of that still got some iron we'll grab some redstone and wood. All right. So let's make ourselves a piston. We won't worry about making all of them. Uh, and then we need coal blocks. Okay. All right. So it's really expensive. This twenty-seven coal just for that is. It's pretty ridiculous. Alright, and then... Gracious, now we need the... Uh, freaking... Oh, what am I doing? Now we, now we need the furnaces, and furnaces are, are different uh, in this as well. You, you don't make them just straight up cold. What you need to do is get a bunch of compressed cobble and use that to make a normal furnace because otherwise you just make the slab furnace 
which is really annoying because it's it's just a, a, an additional semi unnecessary step. The I don't see why they changed that. The slab furnace was fine as it was, where you needed uh, the slabs to make it. It just seems kind of. Ooh, ooh. Oh, things are a bit funny. It just seems to to me to be like an unnecessary complication on what was already a fairly simple thing that didn't need complication. Because there's no, there's no massive advantage of it doing it uh, any other way. This Envar comes out. iron here and that will give us our generator and I made the invar specifically because of the next step so what we what we really want to, don't want to be doing is sitting there sieving things ourselves yay all right so what we want to get onto is the uh, how do I do that Oh, it's automatic sieve. Okay. All right. So silk mesh. Okay, easy enough. Easy enough. Oops. So let's just pop that in here. Then we need an electrum gear. Okay, and a bunch of invar. Okay. So electrum gear. That is not going to be a problem either. That should be just be two silver and two gold. Melt up nice and quickly. We just want two of those in there and two of those. I think that should be enough. And then we'll see some of the invar. Some of that needs to be turned into nuggets. Get in our nuggets. Right. And by now the gold and silver should be cooked. Or getting close to it. it should be really quick. Yeah, there we go, perfect. And this will start us off I'll pop you down there and this is gonna make life so much easier and there we go all right let's grab a stack of gravel I still need to do manual hammering I don't have pulverizers yet because pulverizers and macerators are really expensive and I didn't bring any power, did I? Haha! <laughs> Alright. Really loud. But, we're getting somewhere. Okay, so we'll leave that going. And next time we're going to come back. Um, I'm going to be spending a lot of time gathering resources. So the next video is probably going to concentrate a bit more on farming so we can see what happens with uh, Agricraft. There's a bunch of options in there for getting missed resources and I think we'll also try and get some animal farms going. Yeah, we could definitely do with cows. Cows would be good and sheep. So many options. Alright guys, see you next time.